Hi everyone, my name is Gabriel Canelas. I work for Torrance University and Media Design School New Zealand. Uh, and I'm here with a very special guest, one of NDS's alumni, Alexander Effio. Hi Alexander, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks for asking. Can you tell us, just tell us a little bit about your story before you moved to New Zealand. I mean, tell us about you and before you go to New Zealand, what brought you to New Zealand and all that such? Okay, um, well, I'm just a normal guy. We want to study um, digital animation. I tried to study this career in my country. I tried with two college, um, but I don't have like real luck with that. Um, I actually began to study this career in my country, but um, I didn't like uh, the um, study methodology. Um, so I decided to switch, and then I found media design school, and um, I decided to enroll in. Right, and um, what? Why did you decide to study in New Zealand? What? Why New Zealand? I mean, um, I mean, coming from Panama, it's it's a very long way to get to New yeah. Zealand. So just, can you, I know, I mean, I would know a hundred of reasons to study New Zealand, but I think our mm -hmm. audience would like to hear from you why New Zealand. Well, if I'm being honest, I just look for a good animation um universities. I search a list of the ten best um animation universities in the world and then it was in media design school. I actually read all the um all the classes and all the like say like the curriculum of the other universities. Yes. Um, and yeah. the most I like was um media design school. So then I started watching videos from New Zealand uh, that is a pretty safe country, um, and have uh, really a good um a lot of good stuff. So I decided to um that I want to go to New Zealand. Nice, yeah. My, well, my next question is you pretty much answered it already. I was going to ask you why did you choose MDI? So you just said that you were looking for the best media schools in the world, and then you found New Zealand among the top ten in the world, right? Uh, was right. that is there anything you'd like to add of being one of the reasons you chose MDS? Um, well, one of the main reasons is because they teach like um they give you a really good set of um skills, like um. Not a lot of universities, uh, animation universities, I mean. Yeah. Um, yeah. they teach you, for example, in um in the very beginning stage, like just animation. They 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 make the shoes like just animation or just modeling, or rendering or whatever. In media in school, they teach you how to do like a little bit of everything, and then you can. You can choose. Choose to specialize in something. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So you kind of have like a, a base of the whole industry at first, and then it's better for you to realize what you really want. Yeah, exactly. That's nice. it. That's very cool. And mm -hmm. and when you found the courses, how did you find the courses of study method in at MDS? compared to other ones you've seen available either in your home country or doing your research mm -hmm. where you found schools all across the world. <laughs> so what differences did you find in between the courses at MDS compared to the other ones? Is that something that I assume that also made you come up with the decision of going to MDS, wouldn't it? Well, at the beginning, I found the... Um... Because I didn't um I didn't jump into the degree directly. I met the foundation program before. Right. So that's helped me to like adapt, to get used to the methodology of the courses. At the beginning it was very um 
I, I will say different. I wouldn't say like stressful or uh, frustrating. I will say different. But with the time I get used to, and also now I like the methodology because it's like, it's progressive. Um, in my country, for example, when I take some classes, um, uh, the teacher don't really show you how to do the thing, don't, don't really teach you. Um, they just, they was just like, okay, you have to do a um, 2D animation of five minutes. And, and that's it. And they show you a video and, and do it. Here is more like in the foundation program, uh, when I have to take classes per month, a different uh, class per month, um, they subdivide all the content in the four weeks of the, of the month. And then when you begin, it's, it's, it's a little bit tough. Uh, because it's a new, it's a new course, new class, uh, all the stuff. But in the second week, you can realize you are better than in the first one. In the third one, you are better than in the two first. And the fourth one, in the last week, you are practically used to all all uh, what you have to do. Right. So that's something that that I like actually. Um. It's it's something that lamp that make easy, um easier. Sorry, um some courses that may be a little bit difficult. For example, um game design or web design, something like have to have to be is, is related with um uh, with coding. That yeah. can be a, a tough course with a person that doesn't really like it. Like me, I don't have I don't like coding. Yeah. It's pretty stressful for me, but that means with that you methodology, also have to learn a little bit how to do the coding. Yeah, yeah, I actually learned, and at the beginning it was tough, but with that methodology in the four week it was like, I mean, not can super easy, but that, so can you say that? Um, and yes, you a lot of the learnings, a lot of the classes, you learn things by doing it, like the culture, like how you yes. can do it yourself, not just being in class get thrown a lot of fury, get thrown like a, some YouTube video of how to do and that's it. So at MDS, they actually teach you how to put like, I would say it's a hands-on course. Like you mm -hmm. really put your hands on it. Is that what you're yeah. saying? Nice. Definitely. Very good. And do you think that MDS, I mean, was now that you were alumni, do you think did it help you get the job you wanted? Yes, I will say yes. Because they have like, um, collaboration with some uh, national New Zealand uh, companies. That's why MDS with... helped you in getting a job as well. Yes, yes. That's cool. That's cool. That's very important because normally yeah. uh, in, in, in many universities, when you graduate, you, that's the moment you kind of feel lost. You don't know what to do with it or what to go yeah. for. So it's important when a university gives you a hand when when digging when going after uh your professional goals in regards yeah. of employment uh so you were, you wanted to say something yeah also one of the reasons that i choose uh medicine school i i forgot to say this is that the percentage of students um that got employed okay. after okay. they got graduate i think they have like over the 90 Ninety percent, I oh, think yeah. I, I read it. Yeah. So, so that's why that's one of the reasons also. And now that you've she... done it, that was one of the reasons you went. And now that you've been through it, can you say that that's accurate? That's actually a, a an information, a true information that is an actually correct information, not just some marketing that a lot of people do. No, no, I think it is. I mean that. They make a really good job in the teaching. So I think it's it's true. And they also have people with the job. So that's that's very good. Now mm. <clears throat> would you if you had to do everything again, would you do it again? Would you if you had to if if I would put you on a on a time machine to go back, uh, would you choose MDS again? Yes. 
which way yeah okay. so i assume you recommend NDS to other students as well definitely 100 percent wonderful that's so cool well uh alexander thank you so much for your time i know you might have a busy schedule right now um and if you have any questions after this just feel free to email me and thank you again yeah thank you for inviting me